What's up guys? Got a new toolbox. Let's see it. So this toolbox was a repo. Um, I got a really good price on it. It's a Matco 4S triple bay. And then uh, it is an upgrade from the last blue one that I had. This one does have the power drawer. Uh, the only thing I did not like about this one is that if I try to put this up like that, it won't be able to close. And so the drawer is not deep enough. That's the only thing, the downside that I found to this. My snap-on battery barely fits in there. <clears throat> I mean, but it is a good box. It is a different texture. I do have the option to put the chrome trims or the black ones, but I think I like the black ones better. In my top drawer, uh, just the sockets as the other toolbox. Kind of got it in the same uh, position as the other ones. You know, sockets and all that. But I'll go ahead and show you guys uh, what all I got in here. This, I'm not sure what I'm going to put in here. I just got my gloves in there for now. The one below, uh, papers and stuff. And then this one, I got my uh, ratchets. Which I need to glue this little uh, mat down. And then I got my chisels here. Empty drawer. And then I just got my electric stuff down here. Uh, this one, I got my picks and then my uh, crescent wrenches, screwdrivers, stuff like that. This one is kind of like the like the plier drawer. I just haven't organized it yet. Uh, electric drawer. Like I said, it's in the same position as the other ones. The junk drawer. Some random stuff down there. Now this drawer is pretty deep. I do like this one. Uh, just torque wrenches, just some box boxes. But this drawer. I just have my electric stuff. Um, the cover on here is kind of like a, uh, I don't know how you would explain it, but on my other blue uh, toolbox, it had a much smoother feeling. I don't know if they make that because these covers do come off, but I don't know if uh, they make that kind of top for this one. But overall, it is a pretty good box. I do like it. Um, it's sturdy. I haven't had any issues with it. And uh, I'm gonna show you guys some new stuff that I got. So some of the new stuff that I got, are just these uh, Milwaukee tools. I did have a uh, snap-on uh, right angle ratchet, electric ratchet. But uh, I don't know, just something about the way this one runs, it's a lot smoother than the uh, snap-on one. Uh, I don't see a big difference in using this one or the other one yet, but uh, I do like this uh, Milwaukee since I do have batteries with them anyway. And then I got the 3 8 uh, This is a fuel brushless. Uh, here's the part number. This one's the right angle of the impact. And I would say that uh, they do come in handy. The only downside is the head. It's kind of, it's a lot bigger, you know? <clears throat> I mean, but overall, if you're in a tight spot and need to impact a right angle, these have a uh, came in clutch. And then I got the half inch too. I did get a uh, snap-on set, a metric set, because I didn't have any metrics. And uh, this is, Let's see, eight through 24. So that's, I've been using that set a lot here working on the big trucks. But that's pretty much it. I just wanted to give you guys a little update on the, uh, the toolbox tour. Uh, I did take the blue one home and got this one set up here. I still need to clean it out and you know, clean it up real good. But yeah.
I do like the 4S better than the 6S. Let me know what you guys think.